How do you know how much food you should have on the shelves before you put yourself into a poor cash position? Hey there, Restaurant Pro. This is Dave Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. And today, I'm going to share with you the ins and outs of inventory turns and why they're so important to understand when you want to take control of your kitchen. So what is an inventory turn? Well, let's think of it this way. An inventory turn is simply rotating your stock, if you will, that if I fill my shelves completely and empty them, then refill them, that's an inventory turn. I empty my shelves completely, refill my shelves, that's a turn. Those would be two inventory turns. Now, the problem is in a restaurant, we can't do that because even if you've had the displeasure of closing a restaurant, you have never emptied your shelves completely. So we've got to look at it instead of this product, as in dollar value. That if I have an average of $3,000 on the shelves and every time I replace and repurchase $3,000 in product, that's an inventory turn. Why? Because I'm gonna have dated products. I'm gonna have poultry, meat, I'm gonna have dairy items that I may order two, three times a week. And I may have that pickle bucket of paprika as five chefs ago wanted to save you, save you money. And everybody keeps going, do I need to count this? And the answer is yes, because it's money, it's your money. So you understand that we're never gonna empty our shelves. We have things that move quickly and things that move really slowly. So we're gonna look at it as dollar value. Now, let me walk you through the equation itself. Now, here's the basic calculation of food costs, beginning inventory plus purchases minus sending gives us use, use divided by sales. If you want to watch a video on me detailed step-by-step -step going through cost of goods sold, make sure you watch this video. But with that said, we're gonna transition straight into what we're doing here. And that's an inventory turn. So what I'm gonna do is, this comes from the four calculations I guarantee will put more money in your bank account. It's circled or circled, it is in a box, a red box. I want you to notice the equation is use, what leaves the shelves, right? How much product we use divided by an average inventory. Now the average inventory is easy, beginning inventory plus ending divided by two. I know it's tough math. I know I'm being a sarcastic bastard, but here's the deal, it's simple. I'm never gonna put you in a position where we're calculating the Pythagorean theorem or the co-fiction of friction. We're, we're literally gonna add two numbers divided by two. Now that says what's on average at any given time. We wanna do this on a weekly basis, but in this example, we're looking at a calendar month. So let's call it four weeks. Now, if I do that and I take, in this case, the use, which is $41,149.47, divided by an average inventory, which is beginning plus ending divided by two of $18,766.35. That means we're turning our inventory in a calendar month 2.19 times. Now, is that good? I'm gonna tell you, no, it's not. I want you to run four to six inventory turns in a calendar month. That means you're only gonna have enough food on the shelves at any given time to last, let's say three, four days at a time. Now, there's a little extra there that if you take two deliveries from your broadline distributor every single week, you're gonna deplete down. But at that point in time, that's when you are at your lowest, you still have a few days worth of food on your shelves, but we're not stocked up for a week. We're not stocked up for a month with items that are gonna be lasting forever because it's very difficult for me to pay my bills. When I have too much inventory on the shelves, I cannot pay my bills. I may make my profitability, but what pays your bills, cash or profits? Cash is king, and that's where we start to pay attention to inventory turns. It's not just about hitting food cost. It's not just about poor costs we're doing that way. It's about making sure we manage, well, our number one asset, the best, our cash. Are we taking care of ourselves? Now, I will tell you, while I want four to six inventory turns in a calendar month for most restaurants, if you're a breakfast place, it's probably six to eight. Why? Because we have eggs. We take up so much room. We don't have enough storage space. You're probably taking a delivery almost on a daily basis. So we're going to turn inventory much faster. Now, what are the benefits? If I can reduce my turns, I'm going to have cleaner shelves for better health scores. I'm gonna be able to find items very quickly. I'm gonna be able to have more money in the bank account, lower food cost, pride in my kitchen, organized shelves, quick inventory. There's so many benefits to managing your inventory turns. So what I'm gonna tell you though, is you're gonna first do this calculation and you might find a number like I have here of two. And then you come up with a strategy 
of what needs to move. Meaning you may have high food cost items in the freezer, lobster tails or, or maybe turkey legs for a promotion that three chefs ago did, but they're in there and they're high dollar value. So you keep counting them and you're going to find it impossible to get your turns down. What we're going to do is come up with a strategy about how we're going to sell those products off. Even if it's for dollar for dollar, if it costs me $5 and I sell it for $5, what's the worst case I'll have a higher food cost, but I'll have that $5 back in my bank account or my back pocket where I can choose to do something. Because again, if you've been following for any length of time or listen to some of the more recent tips I've been sharing, last time I checked, you can't go to the power company with a case of steaks, go thud, we're even, they want money. So we need to teach our team cash is king. We need to teach them to hit a KPI, a key performance indicator, the target food cost or pro cost, what have you, but they have to manage the cash too. If you take the time, to manage your inventory, you're on your way to profitability. Be sure to join me live every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube, travel schedule permitting, where I'll get you pumped about the upcoming weekend, get you excited about crushing your goals and finding the motivation to be best you possible. Plus, I'll answer your burning questions live.